Greetings, and welcome to the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Server Restore. In this short demo, we're going to show you the various types of restores that your organization may need to perform and how these different types are beneficial depending on the type of disaster. So let's go ahead and get started. There's numerous types of disasters, from ransomware and accidental deletions of data to more catastrophic types of disasters like server or data center failure. So we offer different types of restores based on your needs. Also, Carbonite Server is flexible enough that even if the entire server is protected, you can still just restore a subset of that data if necessary. All of this ensures that your organization is protected no matter what the issue. Let's take a look at a restore. In the Carbonite Server portal, we will select our backup job and select Restore. From here, we can specify the particular date and time we want to restore from in case the most recent backup does not have the data needed. Then we can specify the encryption password. As you may recall, Carbonite Server encrypts data at rest and in flight to provide an additional layer of security around the backups. Now we have even more options and flexibility around the restore, such as the ability to restore to a different location, which may be helpful when testing or auditing data. Also, we can determine what to do if there are conflicts, such as skip the restoration of those files. This is helpful when restoring data that's been accidentally deleted, but the rest of the data is good. We can even make duplicates of the data by renaming the data that's restored. This will allow you to test the restoration without fear of overwriting good data. Now we select the item or items to restore. Remember, just because this backup may protect a large amount of data, that doesn't mean we need to restore all of it. Select the files or folders you want and include them in the restore. You can even exclude files and folders that you don't want to restore as well. Then we simply click Run Restore and the data is recovered quickly. If we take a look at a SQL restore, we have the same options, including the ability to restore just the database files but now we have the ability to restore the entire database directly back into a SQL Server and even the ability to allow us access the database on the vault directly where we can mount the database and restore just tables and objects needed for the greatest level of granularity. Let's look at an image restore next. An image backup is the protection of the entire volume without exclusions, but we can still select just a subset of data to restore here too. One option is to mount the backup as a share and then just copy the data we need and the other is to restore the entire volume. When we restore the entire volume, we can even select a different volume to ensure data is not overwritten. The last restore to look at is our agentless VM restoration and the bare metal restore. The bare metal restore is the restoration of an entire server anywhere, including hardware or a platform that may be completely different. Here we take our brand new server and boot it with an ISO made previously. Then we can connect it to the vault, select the bare metal backup we performed, add optional drivers if necessary, and then restore the entire server, including the operating system, applications, and data. The agentless VM restoration allows us the ability to restore the entire VM, and even this restoration will allow us to restore just files and folders if necessary. If we want to restore the entire VM, or even multiple VMs, we simply select the data store to restore to, which could be the original data store if desired, and the host to restore to. Lastly, if you want the VM to start as soon as the restoration is complete, check the box. This will allow VMs to be up and running as soon as possible. When restoring data, it's vital to an administrator, an IT team, and the organization that they have the ability to restore what is needed, where it's needed, and how it's needed. During a downtime event, time is of the essence, and having this flexibility from one solution will save time and money while allowing your organization to be productive as quickly as possible. This brings us to the end of the Carbonite demonstration of Carbonite Server Restore. To learn more and to stay informed, please visit us at Carbonite.com. I'd like to thank you for your time and have a great day.